All right, what's going on today, guys? Um, we're here with my 2015 Honda TRX 420, and today we're going to install a 3,000 pound winch. Uh, this is a champion winch, this one. And for the 2015, you're going to need to go ahead and give the dealer a call, and you're gonna have to get one of these winch mounting plates. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you first things first. I want to get all the panels removed that I need to remove so I'm not fighting with it later. You're going to want to remove your battery cover. Uh, I removed the back seat just so I could show you how it comes out. First thing you want to do is take your storage cover off. You can see right there it just pops off like that. And then you can see right here there's a tab there, a tab there. And right here and right here, there's two push pins that go into rubber grommets. So you're going to want to push these corners up, or pull them up, I mean, just like that. And then you're going to slide this out like that. And then there's your battery in there. Next thing we want to do is remove this. So you're going to want to get a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to want to remove these push pins here. That pops up like that. That pops up like that. And then these just pull out. You're going to want this piece as well. Ooh. So that's off. And then inside of here, you've got more of those uh, push pins that go into the rubber grommets. I'm going to pop one out right there. And then you got another one on this side that just pops out. And then you've got one here, and you got one under here, like that. You got, and then there's slider pins in there. So you're gonna wanna pull these out first, like that. I know it's, uh, when you're pulling on them, they don't really feel like they wanna go but uh, they'll go that and then you've got one down here that and then this whole piece will just come right off like that now we've got everything opened up so that we can safely uh, and neatly run our wiring so first you're going to want to remove the skid plate. So you got a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt here. There's a bolt here, a bolt on the other side. You got one here and you got one here. That should give you enough movement that I can pull this down and we'll be able to uh, get the next piece off that we need to get off. This will probably all right. Oh, look at that. Left a nest in there or something. Okay, so that's down. Next thing I'm gonna do is take off this bar, I believe. Alright, so the next thing it says, yeah, it says right on here, just loosen the skid plate by removing the two bolts. The skid plate doesn't need to be removed, it'll flex enough that it won't be in the way. And then you've got right here, it says detach the front bumper by removing eight bolts and two nuts. So, we will get on doing that. This one's going to be a 12 mil. And this one has uh, bolts as well. So.
10 mil switched her up on me. I don't know if you can see, but the last two bolts are just up here by the headlights. Those ones up by the headlights will be silver. All the rest of them are black. The six are 12 mil, and these ones up here are 10 by the headlights. And the whole bumper just comes out like that and there's not much holding everything together once that gets disconnected once the top rack gets disconnected from that outside like that just like so that's how that's gonna go hopefully you guys can see me this is all new using this thing I just figured when I'm fixing stuff it'd probably be easier to use this Alright, so one in there, one in there, like that, and there we go, like this. I would assume I don't want to tighten it down too much just yet. Install your roller fair lead to the mount plate using the hardware included with your winch. So, Booyaka, the uh, Champion winch is bolted right up to this kit, which is nice. All that and I wasn't even recording. <laughs> anyway, we got the uh, fair lead mounted onto the bracket. And now I've tightened up the front bolts to the bracket. The front bolt of the bracket onto the bumper. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the winch. <clears throat> so, we have to figure out... This is a pretty easy process because this just goes on. It'll be a pretty tight fit, that's for sure, but it will fit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just have to make sure we're doing it the right way. So I gotta turn this thing off and make sure it's going the right way. I think I gotta take my gloves off for this one. It's actually not as cold out as I thought it was gonna be. This is why it's nice when you have the right things for the job. Because you don't have to frig around. Everything just fits. I could have fucked around with trying to make a bracket, but 
nothing would have fit the way this does. Because this is meant for it. Great size there. And we're gonna hold on, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and pull this back just a little bit like that. This is, as you can see right on this right here, it wants to rub a tiny bit. Oh. Perfect. That's in there good. Got about a fucking millimeter to spare just on that one. I'll flip her over. There we go. So, next thing we got to do, cut this uh, elastic and we'll feed that uh, cable through the fair lead. Alright, so we're going to put the... Uh, cable on or the hook on the cable It's all bent back. Pull it back in again. There we go. So as you can see, that's how she looks all together. Pretty good, pretty good. Now let's hope it goes back together the same way it uh, it all went together. When it come apart and the winch went on nice, so I'm just hoping there's enough room for everything when I get it all back together. Hope nothing, you know the winch doesn't interfere with any of the rest of the frame. I guess we'll find that out when we put it back together. Right, so now we're just installing the bolts. <clears throat> Putting the whole bumper back together with the winch in it. I'm finding that the easiest way to put it back together, the easiest way to put it back together is to put in those, these two top bolts first, that way it just hangs. And, uh, then you can just fucking finger tighten all the rest. So I'm gonna turn this off because I got a couple tight spots here. Alright, so we'll start fucking tightening her up. Five light. Not sure how this is gonna turn out. It's the first time using this mount for my GoPro, so I just didn't want to have to fucking stop every five minutes to record and put the camera down and record and put the camera down. So This is pretty painless. All right, now we can tighten up the top with our
Upsi. Right on. That's where we're at. Now we got to get on to the uh, electrical. All right, so what I'm looking for now is something, a nice clean spot to run the wires where I know they're not going to chafe on anything. So, and then on top of that, I got to find somewhere to mount this distribution block, but I'm thinking that that'll go back here somewhere, probably in my little compartment. But anyway, <clears throat> maybe what we can do Let's look on the other side, because there's a the uh, four by four cable is right there, and that's a that's going to be moving all the time, and I don't want that rubbing against the uh, the wires. So let's check the other side and see what it looks like. Oh, okay, yeah, we got a wiring harness here. All right, well, I think this is what we're going to do then. We'll follow. I don't know if you can see, but we'll follow the wiring harness all the way to all right so i don't know if you can see what i've decided i'm going to do back in there there's this plastic piece right in here it's nice and hidden it's some sort of like a shield or something i don't know i'm going to drill i'm gonna i'm gonna put it right in there i'm gonna mount it on that and then i'm just gonna reverse the wires well not reverse the wires but it says the blue and the yellow, the long ones right here, are to go from the uh, distribution block to the winch, and then these short ones go to the battery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking reverse them and do these short ones in place of these ones, and then these ones in place of those ones. Then I can put the distribution block then I can put the distribution block a little bit closer to the front because there's nowhere to mount it in the back where it's not where either the, the cables are going to be too short to reach. So that's just what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get going on that. I'm going to put the block on that spot. Where did it go? What did I do it? There it is. And I'm going to hook up the switch wiring and get that out of the way. Do the temp. Oh, I don't know. This is pretty heavy. I don't know if I should put it on there or not. Let me go back and check. All right, guys. I've given up on that freaking GoPro for now because I just I was getting fuck. I didn't think I was getting the right shot. But anyway, I ended up. I'll show you where I ended up mounting the uh, the uh, <coughs> solenoid. That's a nice dry spot for it up in there. It's under the fuel tank though. I'm hoping it doesn't get too hot. Like I'm assuming it wouldn't get hot enough that it would fucking um, melt shit. Like, but I think that's a good spot. It's out of the wet. There, you know, there's no water's gonna fucking splash up on it in there. Not much anyway. Um, what I ended up doing was the short cables are the red and the black, and they're supposed to go to the battery. But I couldn't find a good spot to mount that distribution block or whatever you call it, uh, solenoid contactor. So what I did was I reversed them and I put the red and the black on the front and then I'll use the yellow and the blue on the back. So, no, but it's, they're the exact same gauge wire. And just, you know, blue's marked fucking negative, yellow's marked positive, red's positive, black's negative, so... I just mark the fucking, I just put the black on the blue and the red on the yellow and then I'll do the fucking blue on the negative, the yellow on the positive on the battery. So what I'm doing right now is this is your uh, 12 volt accessory. There's usually one right there, but I didn't get that option. So I'm going to tap into this with my, where is it here? This red wire has to be on switched power. So I have to uh, figure out which one of these is switched power. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then we're going to tap that red wire into one of these. So I get power every time the key comes on. So we're going to do that now. Get out my 
voltmeter and figure out which one of those wires is the switched positive. Alright, so if you're going to tap into this as switched power, the white wire on here is switched. So that's what I've tapped into. All I've got left to do is hook the battery cables up and we'll see if she fucking turns on. Alright, let's see if she's freaking going to work. We got the key off. Switch is not working. So let's turn the key on and see what happens. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh! Beauty. She worked, boys. Awesome. Fucking right. Time to start putting everything back together. All right, there she is, guys. Lots of friggin' extra wires and shit, but I just kind of fucking zipped them up and tried to make it make it as neat as I possibly could. I had to uh, trim the edge of the plastic there to fit the fucking. I could fit the front cover back on, but from what I read, that was normal. Yeah, she's done. We have a winch now. Now I can start looking for a plow. Yeah, I got all the plastics back on, just gotta get the back seat back on, and we'll be good to go. Frig yeah, so. Yeah, hope you liked the video. Uh, hope it, you know. I hope it helps somebody out anyway, because I couldn't see any videos of anybody doing this. But, uh, that's it. I'm calling it for the night. I'm going in. Freaking tired. I gotta get up early tomorrow morning, so. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video. All that good stuff. So, until next time, guys. Cheers.